good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, March the 26th, 2015, and this is episode 2545. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to Morning Manna today. Today we continue our discussion about the virtue of humility and it's been a it's been a great discussion for me and you should know that my time in the morning involves looking at some scripture maybe looking at an illustration or two and a quote to put together some thoughts to share with you about humility humility and its antithesis pride or something that I must confess I'm all too familiar with, more so with pride and the struggle to to attain to a level of humility that would be pleasing to God. Maybe maybe you're like me. Maybe you struggle with it. And it's, as I've said before, incredible how easy uh, pride can creep into our life and usurp humility. I found this interesting illustration about an expert witness. And you know that an ex- expert witnesses are called many times to testify in court. And such was the case here. Henry Augustus Rowland, a professor of physics at uh, John Hopkins University, was once called as an expert witness at a trial. During cross-examination, a lawyer demanded, what are the qualifications? What are your qualifications as an expert witness in this case? And the normally modest retiring professor replied quietly, I am the greatest living expert on the subject under discussion. <laughs> Later, a friend who was well acquainted with Roland's normal disposition expressed surprise at the professor's uncharacteristic answer. To which Roland replied, Well, what did you expect me to do? I was under oath. (laughs) Yeah, the Bible says we're not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. But in this particular case, he was just stating what he believed to be the truth under oath. Proverbs 18.12 says, Before destruction, a man's heart is haughty. But humility comes before honor. Scripture says in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8, He was, has told you, O oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly before your God. Luke 14.10 says, But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes... He may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at a table with you. Proverbs 12, 15 says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Francis de Salle said, Do not wish to be anything but what you are and try to be that perfectly. So there's, there's no, uh, no problem with being the best you can be at your given field and subject, but be humble at the same time. And if you're under oath, go ahead and say what you know to be the truth. But so many times, people are not satisfied with being what they are, and they're trying to be something else or someone else, and then... Humility goes out the window and pride begins to drive their life. Father, I pray today that you would help us to be satisfied with who you created us to be and to be the best that we can be. And in the process of doing that, to remain humble. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address is brucetarter at gmail.com. Thanks for listening and being a part of my day and letting me enjoy being a part of yours as well. 
Until tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.